All right, what's good, guys? It's uh, morning coffee or <laughs> AM icebreaker with the coach. You know, it's funny because I got the idea from Kuya Doug. Morning coffee. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saying morning coffee, but uh, you know, that's the thing with me. Like, I don't. Uh, if, if somebody's doing a, if I see somebody doing something that I think is cool, that it's a good idea, I'm happy to, to kind of borrow it. You know, I mean, imitation definitely is the uh, sincerest form of flattery, in my opinion. But at the same time, you know, if they want me to stop doing it or. If they want me to uh, pay to license it, I'm definitely down for that. Um, you know, it's funny. I was talking to <clears throat> my, my mentor, uh, Sarah, yesterday. She of uh, Honor the Academy Durability and, of course, Movolution fame. Uh, check her out. I'll, I'll have a link to that stuff uh, in the description. And we're talking about, yeah, just the idea of, you know, Pay, paying for the comfort of knowing what you can and can't do with a property, right? Um, you know, like, uh, for example, I was saying I'm going to go to a kin stretch in May and I'm, you know, I'm happy to pay a hundred dollars. I think, I think their licensing fee is like a hundred dollars a month after you test out, but you know, to, to have the security of knowing that I can say what I can and can't say or how I can and can't brand myself under a property is, is security. I really like to have, I won't lie. And, um, you know, it's the same with the, I think we were actually talking about on the Academy, you know, there's been some, and you know, I'm not, throwing shade on on academy you guys know i love those guys <clears throat> but um well what's up andres um but you know what, what i was saying was you know it'd, it'd be great for me especially as somebody who's gone through all the on academy stuff to be able to you know i'm willing to pay a licensing fee to know exactly how i can brand myself under that system but uh but yeah anyway so it's a, i'm not 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 sure not sure I'm going with that, but hey, that's that's what this is for. Um, yeah, my my not morning coffee, morning coffee. Actually, one of these days I'll have uh, I'll have coffee again. No coffee right now because I'm uh, I'm what what we're up on hour 38. I think of my second dry fasting experiment, and uh, so so one of these days, probably Tuesday, maybe I'll have some coffee. But uh, that and um, you know, it's interesting. I'd never thought about dry fasting before, but that's actually what I want to talk about is not not dry fasting, but the but the idea that. Uh, you know, go out and do some research, go do some homework. Um, you know, dry fasting, kind of the carnivore diet, I think is something Ronnie and I were talking about on his live stream yesterday. And, you know, these things, there, there's all these ideas that maybe sound crazy, but in practice may not be a horrible flip side being that there's all these practices that are probably crazy, but, you know, from an ideological standpoint are probably not bad. And nowadays it's, it's way too easy to be informed, but at the same time, it's way too easy to be, to, 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 you know, for, to build up a strong confirmation bias. Right. So, um, you know, I mean, I, I think it was, uh, what was it, you know, Dr. Sean Baker, after he was on the JRE, I started following him and kind of went down the rabbit hole of, you know, is, is the carnivore diet legit or not? And, you know, and sometimes you got to put some of those sacred cows up on the altar, but, maybe that's not a bad thing. Um, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe, maybe it's okay to, to do some digging and maybe it's okay to say what he posted a video, for example, uh, yesterday that was, do we really need fruits and vegetables? And, uh, you know, that's just when I was like, Oh my God, I'm like, of course we do. What are you talking about? Or at least that's what we've all been led to believe. But that's one of those things that, and he actually outlined this really well as you start to kind of trace back through how we arrived at some of our conclusions, you realize, well, it's it's not a set conclusion. You know, we don't know for sure that we do or don't. It's just maybe in certain scenarios, best case or worst case or some cases, yeah, we should do this. So, um, yeah. So I guess that's all I'm going to say this morning is, yeah, do your homework, do your research, especially now in this time of fake news and and rampant tribalism and 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 way too much confirmation bias. And uh, of course, it's Sunday, so in about two hours, I'll be back doing my live Q and A. So hope to see you guys then and there. And that's the AMI speaker. Cheers.